Newcastle United head coach Eddie Howe is pushing his side to sign Manchester United star Scott McTominay next summer, according to Football Insider. The Scotland international's future at the Old Trafford side is uncertain at the moment. Eric Ten Hag has the midfielder on the list of potential departures in the upcoming transfer window. A number of Premier League teams are interested in acquiring his services. Along with the Magpies, West Ham United were eyeing a move for the 26-year-old in January. Newcastle continue to be linked with McTominay. Howe is an admirer of the midfielder and likes his energy and experience. The former AFC Bournemouth head coach wants to add the Scottish national to his ranks at the Tyneside outfit. For now, the Magpies have the likes of Bruno Guimaraes, Sean Longstaff, Joe Linton and Joe Willock in the middle of the park. However, they parted ways with John Joe Shelby in the previous transfer window. McTominay made his way through the youth ranks at Man United. Over the years, the 26-year-old has become a key player in the Red Devils' senior squad. However, this season, the midfielder has lost his influence in the Old Trafford side's first team. The Scottish national has spent most of the campaign on the bench, becoming a bit part player. With the arrival of Casemiro, McTominay has fallen down the pecking order. The Brazil international has cemented his place in the number 6 position in the team since his first start in the English top flight against Everton. Things do not look encouraging for the Scotland international. It seems unlikely that he will be able to match the quality of the former Real Madrid star. Therefore, with the midfielder in his prime physical years, it would not be a surprise if Newcastle ended up signing the 26-year-old. Manager Eric Ten Hag has hinted that Anthony Marshall could make his long-awaited return for Manchester United in the Premier League clash against Newcastle United on Sunday. The Frenchman started the season in good form and was a major reason why Cristiano Ronaldo was being benched so often by the Dutch tactician. He has had several fitness issues this season. But the recent hip injury has been the most serious one during that time. He has been absent for a long time and last played for us in the Premier League on the 14th of January in the 2-1 win against Manchester City. Now, he could be in line to make a return against the Magpies this weekend. The former as Monaco forward has been training for a couple weeks and has used the March international break to regain fitness. Ten Hag said at his pre-match press conference. He's training, so for two weeks now, I think he can be in. We can use Marshall's agility, ball control and dribbling up front. Wow Twighorst, a 1.97 meter giant, adds a brilliant dynamic up front because then, the incessant crossing from out wide makes sense. But he lacks that finesse that Marshall brings on the ball. The Frenchman is quick off the blocks and can do so much more than finish. At his best, there aren't many better. This summer will be a summer of change at Old Trafford and surely a striker would be on the shortlist, especially considering Wakehorst's loan expires in three months. This could be an important time for Marshall to show that he can be the no. 9 that Manchester United need. So far, he has 6 goals and 2 assists in 14 games across competitions this campaign. Manchester United are on the verge of agreeing a new long-term contract with England international Luke Shaw, according to Manchester Evening News. The 27-year-old's existing deal is set to expire in the summer of 2024. However, the left-back is soon going to put pen to paper and sign a new four-year contract. Earlier in the season, Shaw's terms at the Old Trafford side were going to conclude at the end of the campaign. However, the Red Devils had triggered a one-year extension option. Shaw signed for United in the summer of 2014 from Southampton. However, the English national's career at the Old Trafford side has seen many ups and downs. Injuries have hampered the left-back's development and game time over the years. Under Jose Mourinho, the 27-year-old also lost his place in the starting lineup. The Portuguese manager did not seem to fancy him. Last season, Shaw once again had a number of fitness issues. 
As a result, Alex Telez, who is on loan at Sevilla, often deputized in his absence. Thankfully, the former Saints star has not suffered any niggles this time around. Under Eric Ten Hag, the 27-year-old has been the first choice on the left-hand side of the defense. Initially, Tyrell Malaysia managed to get into the team. However, the England international managed to pick the Holland international in the pecking order with some impressive displays. Shaw also shone for England in the 2022 World Cup. The left-back has been key to United's success as well, with the Old Trafford side lifting the Carabao Cup. The England international's renewal is excellent news. He is still in his prime years. Hopefully, the 27-year-old will continue to perform at the top of his game in the coming future without any injury problems. Serie A giant Sinter Milan have set a £40 million price tag on Andre Wanana amidst interest from Manchester United, according to Gazzetta dello Sport and Siempre Inter News. Ahead of the upcoming transfer window, the shot stopper's future at the Nerzzurri is in doubt. The Red Devils are eyeing the Cameroonian as the next possible first choice in between the sticks. At the moment, David De Gea is the Old Trafford side's number one. His current contract is set to expire at the end of the season. But the Manchester-based club and the Spaniard are in discussions over a new deal. However, if negotiations were to fail, United would evidently need to reinforce their goalkeeping department. Eric Ten Hag has Tom Heaton and Jack Butland as the only backups in the squad to the former Atletico Madrid star. Wanana signed for Inter in the summer of 2022 as a free agent after leaving Ajax. In Amsterdam, the 26-year-old made a name for himself under the exiting Red Devils boss Ten Hag. In Italy, the Cameroonian has thrived. He has replaced Samir Handanovic in between the sticks. The shot stopper has made 28 appearances in all competitions for Simone Inzaghi's team, keeping 14 clean sheets. Ten Hag has looked to bring a more possession-based style to United. As a result, the Old Trafford side have been seen playing out from the back a lot under the Dutch manager. However, in that regard, De Gea leaves a lot to be desired. There have been question marks regarding the Spaniards' distribution throughout the campaign. Therefore, the addition of a player like Wanana makes sense. The 26-year-old spent several years playing for Ten Hag and is familiar with the former Ajax head coach's ideas. But will United match Inter's asking price? Only time will tell. La Liga outfits of EU are considering making a move for out-of-favor Manchester United defender Victor Lindelof, according to Spanish outlet Fisha Yez. The Andalusian club are ready to swoop in for the centre-back's signature in the upcoming transfer window. Jose Luis Mendilibar's team will come knocking at the Red Devils due to bolster their defence. At the moment, the Old Trafford side are already contemplating the sale of Harry Maguire next summer. The Sweden international's possible departure will further affect the depth in the Manchester-based club's backline. Since Eric Ten Hag's arrival, Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Veron have been the first choice partnership in the defence. The Argentine and French nationals have formed a solid duo. In previous campaigns, Lindelof and Maguire were pivotal players under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They were the second and third most used players, respectively, by the Norwegian head coach during his stint in the Old Trafford side's dugout. However, with the arrival of Ten Hag, the Swedish national has especially lost his influence in the team. In the current campaign, the 28-year-old has started in just five matches in the Premier League. Sevilla have struggled in the current campaign. Having sold Jules Count and Diego Carlos last summer, the Ramon sanchez Piwan Stadium side have not been the same this season. Eulen Lopetgui and Jorge Sampaoli have both lost their jobs in Los Nervionenses hot seat. They have had to rely on Nemanja Gudelj, Tongi Nyanzu and Fernando in the backline. Considering the lack of opportunities Lindelof has gotten this season, it would not be a surprise to see him leave next summer.
However, the 28-year-old has been a decent backup and it would be wise to add reinforcements in defense before letting the Swedish national part ways.